Amdex's main review. Today we'll be looking at Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, which is on Cave Generation 1 arcade hardware. This game is based on the anime and manga series of the same name. So let's get right into this. I'm going to pick Sailor Mercury because she was always my favorite in the anime and the live action series. And you'll see right away that this game is very reminiscent of Final Fight being a uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up game. Surprisingly enough, this game was actually never available on consoles. You'd think with the graphics which looked very much like Super NES and Sega Genesis graphics, which were the consoles which were out at the time, that it was ported directly to those consoles, but it was not. There was games which were very similar to it, but no game, no uh, direct port. The game was developed by Gazelle and published by Bampresto in 1995. One thing you'll notice in this game, just like you notice in a lot of other side-scrolling beat-em-ups, you'll notice in this sprite that I'm fighting right now, they recycle sprites, like what they'll do is they'll take one of the character sprites and they'll just basically recolor it, give it new abilities, make it stronger, just like this this woman here, she's just like the ones I was fighting in the beginning, but she's a slightly different color. And if you're, you haven't been able to tell yet, I have one attack button and one jump button as well as the special attack button. And if you look right by my points there, there's a little blue crystal that represents how many crystals I have for my special attack. Currently I only have one, but more crystals will make you do a better attack. This is one of those weird things in this game, this tennis guy. I found him to be very strange in this game. I'm thinking to myself, oh no, I'm gonna be tennis to death. He just blew himself up with that tennis ball. I always find it funny when enemies find some way to kill themselves. This, of course, is our first boss. Actually, this character sprite ends up being used later on as just a regular stage enemy. That's one thing I think is cool, that the regular enemies are hurt by the electrocution attack. Let's take care of some of these ones. That looks like some sort of weird pudding cup or something. We're gonna be... Sailor... Mars here. Who, of course, in the anime series was known as Ray Chan. Crystal? There's a crystal that just fell back here. I saw it. Got it. I personally always liked the Japanese version of the anime series a lot better than than the uh, DIC Americanized version. I just found the American version to be just too dumbed down and too much for little kids. I also didn't like the way they changed the names in the in the American version. Like Serena, who's Sailor Moon, her original Japanese name was Yusagi-chan. And, uh, of course, uh, her friend, Naru, is changed to Molly. And Mamaru, of course, is changed to Darian. I just never liked those names, and they just take a lot of stuff out. Like, something so minor as, in the one scene, the teacher's skirt flies up, and this this uh, one kid looks and makes, makes a perverted face, but they took that out of the American version, because they thought it'd be too much for American kids to handle. This female ninja has to be one of my favorite sprites in the whole game. I think she's really cool, and she's she just like every character in this game is reused a lot. I actually have four crystals right now. Maybe by the time I get to the next boss, I'll be able to do the full five crystal attack. Speaking of the crystal attacks, each of the characters has their own special attacks, and when they do them, you'll actually see a full anime version of the character, and they'll do various animations like they would in the anime, which I think is a very nice touch. Of 
course, Sailor Mars here in the anime is known as Ray Chan. Okay, let's see. What comes next? Oh, these these weird wooden doll people. I might have mentioned it briefly at the character select screen, but the thing that I, I enjoyed a lot was the live action series from 2003. The fan subbing group TV Nihon, they do a very good fan sub of this. I'd recommend quite highly looking them up since there hasn't been an official English version of that yet. It's just a really good series and uh, personally thinks nobody should miss it. Now we're going to be uh, Sailor Jupiter, who of course is Makoto in the anime series, or Mako-chan as they called her. Oh, here's our female ninja again, and there's a blue version of her attacking me, or did I kill her already? Yeah, it looks like I killed her already, but you saw her just a few moments ago. I like how she, she just so nonchalantly throws a little dagger at you. Poor tennis guys. Take that tennis guy. Why won't the tennis guy just die already? Don't you hate it when your tennis guys won't die? Mild five. Turn it up. Or she could be saying like turny up or something like that. Who really knows? Oh man, I'm getting my my ass tennis right there. I like being able to jump kick. I always found that. Cool, like I did that a lot in the Ninja Turtles arcade game. Okay, it's time for the next boss battle. This is actually pulled directly from the anime series when Naru's mom turns into a demon and she starts assaulting all the well actually not all the, it was only it was only Yusagi or Sailor Moon who was around at the time. Let's do some let's do some five crystal action here with Sailor Jupiter. This is gonna be the extreme attack. And it actually already got into the part where Tuxedo Kamen comes in because that took up so much of the boss's health that it beat her so quickly. And the cool thing is that flower that I just picked up that Tuxedo Kamen had thrown actually restored all my health, which is really cool. I still say it sounds like she's saying a turn it up or turn it up or something like that. Let's take care of all these enemies here. You can still, you can still see Naru's lifeless body over there since her demon mother here kind of took her out. I like that in these games where where the uh, you'll come back to life and then all the characters will be thrown to the floor. I always thought that was a pretty cool thing. The only thing I never never really liked much about the games was when when you're fighting a boss and then all of a sudden there's all these enemies, I always thought it'd be cool if the bosses were like just big set pieces on their own, but it makes it a little harder. Of course those are Queen Barrel's hands and that's Jadeite over there. She's telling him what to do. He's like, take my evil plans. Well, I'd highly recommend Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon to anyone who likes Sailor Moon, anyone who likes Final Fight type games. But if you like Sailor Moon, you've probably played this already. So that's been another main review. I'll see you later.